Hello, welcome to Crystal Core Skills. Please subscribe if you haven't done it. Uh, subscribe, subscribe. And give me a thumbs up as well and some comments and regardless, you know, because uh, your, your feedback is very important for me to improve on the quality of the video as well as the materials I'm presenting here. So your comments and your subscription will actually really help me to know whether I'm doing the right thing or not so that I can improve. I'm here to learn and uh, as you know, we learn from mistakes, from the mistakes. Thank you um, for your time. I am going to discuss what is known as a point in geometry. This is the objective for this video. We are going to look at what a point is, what a point is, and we are going to look at the types of the points. Okay, let us start with number one, this one here. What is a point? A point can be looked at as a verb, noun, or adjective. As a verb, you can look at a point as directing someone to go and do something or citing an evidence uh, like uh, an evidence about something. In terms of a noun, you can look at a point as the sharp end of an object, if you like. And in terms of adjective, you look at the point as a description of a uh, descript of a place of a place and this is a kind of definition that we want so in geometry a point is a default location upon which everything else is built and that default location is represented by a dot and a dot as we know is a noun and uh, it describes the beginning or the starting point the starting point of event so everything in geometry is built on this point and that's how important the point is in geometry even maybe the the beginning of the universe might have started from a point and from there everything else built from so that my friend brings us to the first type of the point the second type of the point that you may look at is the end point the end point for example uh, if we join two points together we form a line segment and we know geometry tells us that a line segment can be extended in either direction infinitely so that if we have a point, we have two points there we can have what is known as the end points this could be an end point of a line or an end point of a ray you know, a ray is only one, it starts from one point and it goes to one direction only. But if you're going to both directions, you will come up to the concept of a line. So these are the end points. Uh, another type of point that you can look at is the, um, the midpoint. Midpoint. Midpoint is the point that. Uh, divide uh, to uh, divide a segment into two equal parts let's say we have a line segment a b and we have a bisector there which is perpendicular so that uh, we have another point at c where this line cuts uh, segment a b such that a c segment a c will be equal to segment c b and we call that point at c as our new point Number four, we can have a look at a point as the point of origin. Point of origin. Point of origin uh, comes as a result of the Cartesian coordinates. For example, we have an arbitrary point zero there, which is a point of origin where every other points will come from because you start from the origin and count. Uh, to reach in, I mean to reach uh, to any location, you must start from the origin, and that is the point of origin. Another type of the point that you can look at is 
the central point central point central point comes from um, the circle uh, you have the radius from the circumference to the center of the circle and if you have many radii all of them will come from the center and that center there is our central point the sixth type of the point that i think is very good as well is the centroid centroid point is a point that comes as a result of joining the vertices of the triangle to each side at equal po at equal points for example you can draw a line from here and you can draw a line from that vertex and then from that vertex as well so where this line these three lines meet uh, is our central point another another type of the point that can be very uh, useful is the tangent point tangent point is a point of tangent where the tangent line touches the circle at one point and is perpendicular to the radius of the circle and that is our tangent line uh, and uh, this point here is our tangent point that is it my friend uh thank you for viewing and uh, please subscribe to get my up-to-date video and i hope this has been informative i'll see you in the next video